If you've ever played with a magnifying glass, then you've experienced Heliax technology firsthand. Check this out. Many large industrial processes such as factories producing paper, food and beverage, and chemicals are steam-powered, meaning they require heat power up to 400 degrees Celsius. This form of manufacturing constitutes 12 to 13 percent of the global energy demand. Steam-powered manufacturing has until now only been possible via natural energy or fossil fuels. Enter Heliac. So the problem we're, we're targeting is that uh, if you want to produce heat at above 120 degrees today with renewables, there's only one way to do it. And that's with uh, some very large mirrors that are very expensive, more expensive than uh, fossil fuels anywhere. Uh, what we do is we produce heat at cost below fossil fuels almost anywhere in the world uh, and in very large scale. So utility scale uh, heat uh, at low cost. Heliac is making giant lenses that magnify the power of the sun to create clean energy for manufacturing purposes. It claims prices even lower than the cost of using fossil fuels for the same purpose. So how does its technology work? So we are making very large magnifying glasses, like two square meters, and we focus the light down to 100 square centimeters. Uh, that generates a lot of heat. Uh, it, it's enough to melt uh, aluminum and, and steel. It's, uh, it's very high temperatures. The company just launched its first two megawatt farm in Denmark to test the technology at scale. That farm can produce energy enough for a village and is run through the German utility company E.ON. Heliac sees itself as best positioned to partner with utility companies to implement the technology. So next milestones is first uh, to get some uh, solid data from our first solar field. And uh, second is to get into more uh, uh, industrial processes to show that this is uh, easy to integrate that we can get uh, happy customers in, in large scale. Amazingly, that magnifying glass you played with as a child is capable of great things and may even be a major player in the energy transition.